Hey everybody, I'm here with a brand new series on my channel that I'm going to call Mayo's Dollar Dares. And the reason I call it that is we're going to be at the record store here, and this is a dollar section of records, and they're not a dollar because the music is necessarily lousy. It could be great music, but the thing is, the condition is what is what it matters, and the condition is not as good as the rest of the store, that's why it's a dollar. But anything could be in here. There could be religious music, there could be country music, there could be opera, classical, it could be rock and roll, it could be rap, <laughs> uh, whatever it is. And I have to blindly go in here and pick a record out, and whatever it is, I have to listen to it. That's the, the idea of the show, right? So let's do this first one. I'm just going to randomly go through here, and I'm going to pick this baby right here. Whoa, what a good contender for the first show. Never heard of him. The greatest hits of the great Lucho Gatica. Oh, wow, boy. Uh, and I got to listen to these songs, and that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to get back to you. You'll see how this new series is going to progress. You'll see how it goes as I fade in to me in my room listening to this with you. Okay, folks, here we go. It's a very rainy, miserable late afternoon right now. Perfect day to just listen to a record. I really hope I don't regret this, and I wonder how many of them I'm going to regret doing this show. So, uh, but let's stick with it. I don't know how to pronounce the name. Lucho, Lucho Gatica? Lucho Gatica. Lucho Luco. Luco Gatica. Well, anyway, I can't read Spanish. Um, I'll tell you before I start playing this that, you know, when it comes to music, I at least like to have the words in English. I mean, I do like some foreign songs. I mean, because I, I don't understand the other languages. Uh, or if not a spoken language like English, then I would just rather have it all instrumental. Okay, but we'll see what happens. Hey, one saving grace, it does say greatest hits of... So even though I've never heard of this person, let's go. And here is the record. Let's pop this on the turntable. Give it a listen. Oh, that was every bit as terrible as I feared. I tell you, folks, maybe this is a bad idea for a series, or maybe in the future, if I get a really, truly awful album like this that I think is something that's really going to be terrible that I'm not going to like at all, maybe I won't even bother using it. This was just god-awful. Let me tell you, I only played side one. There are six songs on side one. And it's just, it, it was all sung in Spanish, nothing against Spanish language itself, but I didn't know what the heck he, the guy was singing. And, uh, you know, as, as such, I didn't enjoy myself. And every song was slow and plodding and ballady, and even the music wasn't very interesting. Uh, I was waiting for maybe one song to get a little zippy or maybe up-tempo, kind of like, bouncy, kind of like a Spanish number or something. But there wasn't, they were all just strictly... Uh, you know, very mellow, laid back uh, ballads, and I just I I hated this thing. So I'm not gonna play side two. I mean, you know, life is too short. Why? I mean, there's always a chance there may be one zippy song on here, but I, the first six were so bad that I will not listen to the other six. And that's the way it goes. Goodbye to this, and uh, I'll probably do this again under better circumstances and better results, I think, at some point. But uh, uh, that's like, uh, what, something like 20 minutes of my life or whatever that I'll never get back.